What's going on guys, this is Colbro once more and this is our second episode of the farming sessions with Goldbread. Yes sir, you heard it right, we're farming again. Now, in this episode, basically, um, I really wanted to level up the professions, the collecting professions precisely all the way up to level 20. Uh, I know that this was a really, really hard challenge for me to achieve, basically because of Miner and Lumberjack. And I gotta give you a spoiler, I couldn't reach level 20 on these two ones. But, instead, um, I managed to level up some other professions like the crafting ones. So I worked on Tailor, on Jeweler, on Handyman, Carver, Smith, you name it. I'm gonna be showing you a list of the professions I leveled up. I'm gonna show you some screenshots that I just shot it. <laughs> and um, yeah, so basically this will be the format for the farming sessions um, right now. Maybe in the future they will be different. I am I have some plans in mind, but for now it's just a little bit of a chilling music in the background and my character or characters farming the resources in a little bit of a high speed motion to avoid um, making you guys feel bored. So here as you can see we were fishing a little bit, taking some nettles here and there and uh, I got pretty good at that actually and I don't know if you if you think the same than me but let me actually take this video to just express myself a little bit and get into touch with you a little bit guys to break the ice kind of because you don't really know much about me you actually know nothing about me I'm not telling you my name and stuff because um, I don't want to get this so personal for now for you guys I'm Goldbrot and you will know me as Colbert because that's my nickname since uh, I started playing not this game but uh, other games so that's my nickname other things I could tell you about me <laughs> well I really love Duffus I actually started playing Duffus when I was 12 years old back in 2011 something like that um, I remember that my first character ever was a Krah when the first 2.0 just came out and I used to play with a couple of friends you know we we had a, a guild and stuff but then I realized that I didn't really have many camas and my set was the worst so over the time I met other people they encouraged me to get better gear and stuff like that and then guys I met the professions. The professions were key to my adventure in Duffus because I love fishing. I mean, in real life, I really love fishing and I really love to create things like to craft things from scratch. Um, I, I don't know, I just, I just love that, you know? So I said, well, this game has fishing, this game has the farmer profession. This game has the crafting professions. Remember, but remember that by that time, you could only have up to six professions. So, but it depended on the type of profession you already had. So, for example, if you had three for oh my god, if you had three gathering professions, like uh, I don't know, farmer fisherman and stuff like that you could only have three of those right so I had farmer alchemist and uh, 
baker? Yeah, baker. And this way I could craft some bread, sell it, and get my subscription. So by that time, um, I was just a little boy and I, I didn't really have money to buy my subscription to the game. So I couldn't really afford paying real money for that. I didn't have a job and well, my father didn't really like this game at all. So I just jumped into professions and I started making baking bread and selling it. And I was getting like 5kk per each 100 bread which was not a lot, but <laughs> believe me, I baked a lot of bread a day. Um, I remember by that time, professions could only be leveled up all the way up to level 100, which is halfway right now. And I was um, farmer 60 and baker 50 or something like that. So I was actually crafting the, the breads in the middle, not the best, but not the worst, just the ones in the middle. They were pretty good, actually. And that way I could actually pay my subscription, as I said before. Then I started, like, grinding some more experience. I remember that my PC was the worst in the world. I could only run one account. And the, the computer was basically telling me, dude, stop. I can't, I can't do this anymore. So then I created a second account. And I was playing with a secondary computer, which was a laptop instead of a desktop. I remember that my second character was an Enotroph. So I ran Kra and Enotroph. By that time, you could drop the deficits and stuff. So I leveled up my Enotroph. My Okra, my Kra, sorry, was all already level like 150. I remember that I was wearing the Salbank and the wolf set and uh, my enotroph was just like level 80 or something like that um, I discovered that I could drop really valuable resources and sets like the this rent that gives you a 1 AP <laughs> the jelly ring I don't really remember the name of this one but yeah I was getting really good money on that I just started to improve my gear and stuff like that I get him better stuff and um, by the time I knew that I already had a third account which was a secure but um, by that time the laptop was saying like hey dude two, two accounts is a lot so a few months after that I got a laptop a better laptop and I started playing with four accounts I remember my team was Kra, Oza, Enutrov, and Panda, I think, or Iop. I don't really remember. The thing is, guys, I I basically relied on professions to grind most of my gear and stuff. Because if you think about this, whenever a new server starts, it starts from zero. It means that there's no mounts, there's no pets, there's no money on the server. So you actually need to do things by yourself. The first Taylor level 200 will be rich just because it's going to be the only person capable of crafting cloaks, capes and hats. So you will be rewarded, of course. And Kama does not create a server every single day. But you could take this in advantage if you really like the content of the game and if you really like to go exploring it rather than just paying some sessions of experience farming. And what I would really like to get from you guys is that you start enjoying this game a little bit more because, let's be honest, it's a precious game. Yeah. I know that it has a lot of troubles, problems, bugs and stuff, but it's really good. And if you're watching this one and you just started your adventure, amen. I could serve you as an example. You could just watch my content, see what I do, and try to do it yourself. You will have some fun, that's granted. And the thing is that 
you cannot get bored of this game unless you're doing it wrong because there are a lot of professions in this game starting from that leveling up a professional up to level 200 with no chemist invested is like a lot of time and you can enjoy that you'll see I don't know if, if you do but I really enjoy watching my character getting some resources from nothing it's like getting nettles getting weed getting like the hemp plant uh, iron many minerals and stuff I really like that it's like I just play some music I just go here and there I make a route and um, I start collecting them and uh, well the message is for you to just enjoy what you do and just please don't take a character and just level it up all the way to 200 because <laughs> that would be a shame and when I say a shame it really is now if you made it to this point I want to give you a little bit of a spoiler so you keep like interested in what's come what's coming in the future this series will be not so different from many others I know because this is not an original idea but I'm introducing something that could be like different from the others and it is the subscription part many youtubers and many Dolphus players just pay a subscription and they start playing like not from scratch with subscription I'm not doing that and you can notice because of the star over here where I'm showing you net right now um, I'm not paying the subscription because I actually want to go to most of the community on this game and I know that if you're a new player you will not pay a subscription because you really want to know how the game is and I completely understand you I was there too I needed to give it a try before paying it because it's not expensive it's like four dollars a month or something like that it's like you don't even buy a hamburger with that unless you go to McDonald's but yeah it's like it's not a lot but you need to do it monthly so it's like yeah maybe you could go and pay the four dollars and try one month for 100% of the map but it's not necessary it's actually not necessary because if you can see I don't know if you know this but you can level your professions all the way up to level 60 before buying the subscription so when they get to level 60 you will not be able to level them up they will be stuck in level 60 you will not earn experience but level 60 is a challenge in Astro Man so if you take that challenge and by the time you get up to level 60 you say okay I really love this game I want to be further and you go farther it's like you will have a lot of achievement points because I suppose that you will run the quest in Astro. You will have a lot of experience in uh, most of the professions and you will of course have a lot of fun because let's be honest Astro is funny even for the I don't know the oldest players because it it gives you like that nostalgia effect when you remember when you used to play with your friends when you were like 10 years old so yeah just try man believe me and with this speech which is I think the first one actually I say goodbye for now and I just will let you watch the video so sit back relax and enjoy this little movie
very much for watching my content. If you really like this one, make sure to subscribe and share it to your friends. Thank you very much. Bye.